Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are new here. If you are new here, you will not know that I do not have a left hand. This is my left elbow and that's pretty much where it stops. Um, I saw a YouTuber named Christy Sita do this YouTube video. She is actually an amputee, which means in her case that she originally had both of her arms and then she had an accident where she lost her, I think she's lost like her left wrist and up. Um, and so she did a video on like different things that she does differently with one hand. And I found it really interesting because like both of us don't have our left arm, but the things that we do, like just generic things like tying our shoes or something like that, we still do it in really different ways. So I thought it would be interesting to kind of show you guys how I do it. I'm not an amputee, so it's a little bit, I would say probably easier for me because I was born without a hand, so I never had to adjust from having two hands into going into one hand um, and just to be honest if you gave me like a left hand right now I probably would know how to do a lot of the things that I already do. If you want to see the seven things that I do differently with one hand keep on watching. So as you can see my hair is a bit too short to be doing like a full braid with all of my hair but one thing that I do a lot is like a Dutch braid in the front and then I'll like either pin it or put it in like a ponytail or a bun or something like that so I'm going to show you how I do that. I'll grab this section and I'll divide it into three and with the left nose section I'll just hold it like this and then I'll divide the other two sections with my fingers so now I've got this section and then this one in the back. <laughs> And then I'll just take that middle section, cross it over that back section, and then cross it over the left section. That's just how you do a regular <laughs> braid. Um, and then I just, essentially I'm just holding it here as you do with your left hand. So I took some hair right here and I added it to this section. And then I'm gonna cross the middle over that. And then I'm gonna use my thumb to pick up some hair right here and add it to that front section. And then just make sure all that hair is not fitting in it. And then I kind of just keep doing this. So take hair with my fingers, add it to that back session, section, cross the middle over that, and then grab this. By the way, if I'm looking here, it's because I'm looking at the viewfinder so I can see. Um, but as I'm just taking that section, I'm letting go with this arm. And then I just keep doing that. And then I'm just essentially doing a regular braid all the way down. So that is how I braid my hair. So if you can see here and like here, I've got these burn marks. Um, those are from curling my hair. Um, so now I wear a glove. Obviously it doesn't really work with the fingers, but that's okay. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to curl this one strand of hair for the purposes of showing this to you. So again, this isn't like an in-depth tutorial or anything like this. It's just showing you how I do it. So I grab this section of hair and I'll like fold it in here. And now that I've got that section, I'm gonna take my curling iron. This is actually, I think, is this an iron or a wand? I don't know, but it has like this clip, which makes it a lot easier because I don't have to hold the hair against it. Um, and then go down. sometimes curl my hair with a straightener um, but I have a whole video that I did like a year or two back um, where I show you how I curl my hair with a straightener so if you want to see that go check out that video I'll like link it in the comments or something <laughs> in order to tie my shoes I wear this thing which is called a prosthetic arm um, I'm gonna try to explain what this is to the best of my ability Essentially, it's like a fake arm. I just like slide it on here with like hand sanitizer essentially and then it just like slips on. Um, the way this works is that there's a sensor on the inside like where my hand is touching it and if I move my arm to the right, it opens like this and if I move my arm to the left, 
it closes. So that's pretty much all it can do. I can't move the individual fingers, but just this open and close motion gets me through a lot. So I'm just grabbing that left strand with my prosthetic and the right strand with my right hand. And then I use my finger to cross them one over the other like that. So now they are crossed and I'm going to take the right string underneath just to pull a regular knot and then I make a loop with my right hand. I go under the other lace and then I pull a loop on this side and there you go. Then I usually do like a double knot so I just go like that. So for my necklaces I put it on and then I'll, okay, this is very difficult to describe. Basically, I'll put it on open and I'll pull it so that the actual pendant part is in the back and the clasp and everything is in the front. I'll hold it in my teeth like this. And then I open the clasp and then I just hook it on there. And now it's closed and I just bring the pendant to the front. Just like that. So this right here is what I call my guitar hand. So it's just like, well actually it's nothing, it's nothing like my other prosthetics, but it is a prosthetic that has this like thing um, which moves and then I can also move this. If I loosen this, I can also move the angle of the pick. I play a left-handed guitar even though I'm obviously right-handed. Um, but it's so that I can strum with my left hand with this and then I can like do the finger stuff with my right hand and I don't even know if this is in tune or not and I don't really care to check right now but I can just strum and then I'm able to play um, so I'm still learning how to play the guitar I don't really well first of all I don't really know a lot of the chords and my hand is really small so I'm trying to stretch it out so that I can actually play the chords that you know, span several frets. One of the things that I'm trying to learn right now is how to play down and up strokes. It's kind of complicated to explain, but I can play a down stroke, but then in order to play an up stroke, I have to kind of change the angle of this so that it like, if you're a guitar player, you probably know what this means. And yeah, I'm just learning how to do all the things with the guitar. With this. Ooh. And I take my nail polish and I'll hold the brush against my knee like this and then I'll move my fingers accordingly. So this is what it looks like after two coats. Um, as you can see, I've still got some like nail polish on the skin in different places, but I don't really care about that too much because it just washes off when I like wash my hands and stuff, and it looks pretty smooth on the nails, which is all that I care about. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that video, and hopefully you learned something or you found one of the things that I do differently interesting. Um, also, if you are someone who like doesn't have an arm or a leg or you have some sort of disability in some way. I would love to hear how you do things because I don't know, I just find it, I find it so interesting to hear how people like deal with, not even deal with it, but just how people adapt to whatever situations their life brings. I feel like when you think of people who are different to you, you automatically assume that they can't do the things that you do, which is just like not, not a fair assumption because obviously like people adapt to what their life is and you do the same thing that everyone else does you just find a different way to do it and i think i think it's so cool to see what different way people do it so let me know if you enjoyed this video by thumbsing it up and commenting down below anything whatever if it's something that you learned something you found interesting or if you have any ideas for future videos that you want to see me do let me know, um, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye!